Hey guys, welcome to part two of curling hair with me. Um, I'll try and make this as quick as I can because my MacBook keeps failing on videos for some reason. So, um, basically, when you've done all your your curls in your hair, just give it a little bit of a shake, separation. Um, then with your a favourite brush of yours or I like to use this kind of brush for back combing and brushing my hair just because it's got a thick bristle and it seems to separate the hair a little bit better. Um, don't know why. Um, basically all you do is just slowly and gently go through the curls and just brush them ever so slightly not really putting too much effort in it's just really loosely um, concentrated at the end of the curl really making sure that you get at the back as well all the way around just like that yeah um, so you've gone through and brushed it now to me I like a little bit of volume in my hair so I tend to uh, back home it a little bit if you do want a bit more I can show you the difference after um, basically just tease away at the curls just going through it ever so slightly try not to do the top bit because it can look like that like you've been dragged through a bush backwards not good not a cool look no 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 so teasing the hair concentrating at the ends underneath as well at the back that's where you can get your volume from so you can see the difference really this can be more glamorous going out look or this could be an everyday look if you will something a little bit more subtle it's up to you it just it depends on what you want um, and what you go for um, it's totally up to you I'm gonna do this side now so it don't look a little weird I look ugly when I'm <laughs> combing my hair you're just teasing the ends. Now this is the side I struggle with most really with curling because it's not the same direction that I do it on this side but if you're new to it you will pick it up eventually and you will get used to it. It takes a lot of practicing and a lot of bad sessions of doing hair basically to get used to it but that's just the way it is. So you can see the difference now how much body I've got and how much better it looks um, I like big hair, it's just me, it's my personality, I like big hair, simple. If you don't, no biggie. Um, you can have it a little bit more subtle. This is more glamorous or you could have the other one before which was a bit more beach looky, a bit more subtle. Um, but that's totally up to you, it, it's down to your preference really. Um, when stand the hair afterwards I would use a spray spray upwards so it would hold it there and kind of hold it out a bit more if you will not that but more like that or I'd recommend getting Swartz Scarf is part about this big it's red it's called Dust It really 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 good for um, giving it a bit more volume without using hairspray and um, it looks a bit more natural as well um, costs about £10 a pot, something like that. You don't get a lot of it, but it is quite good. Um, but give it a try and see if you like it. And it's also good for back combing and keeping it there, where spray usually dies out after a while, um, especially with wind and stuff. Um, just trying to think if there's any more tips I could give you. Um, I think that's it, really. But if you do have any questions or anything else you'd like to know, um, you can get me on my Twitter page at Katie Olivia R, or you could email me at katieravy at ymail.com. Easy, I'll gladly answer any questions you have. Um, if you want to know anything else, then just let me know. Um, I hope this has been useful. I know I've had a few emails, people asking me how I do it, so just hope this can help. <laughs> um, Hope to speak to you guys soon. Take care and um, thanks for watching.